Hi guys, uh, my name is Lydia. Welcome to my uh, YouTube channel about fashion and uh, sewing. Today I'm back with another dress project uh, for the summer. I have my uh, beautiful light blue uh, flowy fabric right here. If you've seen my previous video about uh, kind of like my uh, fabric haul slash sewing plants, you've seen this fabric already. I'll include that video somewhere on the screen or down below. But the dress today is Gonna be a little bit different from the one I made before. I absolutely love wearing dresses in summer where you probably will not catch me wearing any dresses in fall and winter and the reason why because it's just so freaking easy to throw the dress on, put some sneakers on or maybe like um, sandals, like a little heel sandals or platform sandal and you're good to go. You look well put together, you look stylish and you literally spend like a minimum effort and you can be out of the door in minutes. So I absolutely love those kinds of projects. I'm uh, planning to kind of get them all out of the way uh, because it's already hot where I am and I want to start wearing them in my uh, day to day. So uh, yeah. So very quickly, uh, the pattern that I will be using for this dress is gonna be Alexia dress from wikisos.com. Vikisos is definitely one of my most favorite uh, pattern producers. They do have a very beautiful style that you don't even have to add it at all. You can just make exactly what they're suggesting. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. Another reason why I love their patterns because they are so well written as far as the descriptions go. And if you are a beginner uh, into sewing and you want to kind of like get better at actually making like a cool garments They are perfect because you don't even have to do any changes If you don't want to like over complicate your project and want to just make it the way it is They are absolutely beautiful the way they are whatever it is like top bottom dress pants skirt whatever and They their descriptions are just so good. They are come uh, they come with like photos and just like step-by-step -step guides exactly how to make it So if in, even if you're a beginner you're gonna love um, using their patterns so just simply for that reason, it will get your skill way up. So, uh, before I get started, I just wanted to kind of show you exactly what kind of materials I'll be using uh, for this. Um, obviously, I have my fabric right here. Uh, something else that I will be needing is actually um, elastic. So, like just like your typical normal elastic, uh, regular size, nothing crazy, because my dress will be um, having the, a little bit of a ruching at the top and on a little sleeve. I also will need an interfacing. So this particular one is actually like super thin. I got this one in um, Mood Fabric Store, uh, moodfabrics.com in one of my previous orders. It has uh, quite a bit of stretch, uh, also kind of like both ways, and it's incredibly thin. So as you know, you want to get, if you are using any interfacing, you want to get something that has very similar properties and thinness of the fabric fabric that you are uh, like we'll be applying it to and of course I have my uh, printed pattern right here I already cut all the pieces and really just uh, I need to lay this uh, thing out and uh, cut out my fabric oh I do also need uh, buttons the dress suggests that I need about uh, 16 buttons in the middle I might need actually like a little bit more because my dress is gonna be all the way to the floor I mean almost to the floor like ankle length um, maxi size uh, so we'll see how far I want my buttons to go so I might actually need more buttons but I have those ordered uh, from Amazon I ordered uh, two different kinds just like your typical little um, a one centimeter or maybe like a half an inch uh, teeny tiny uh, white buttons so I ordered a couple different styles uh, to see which one I like the most so as you know all patterns have like this uh, specific grain line that you have to uh, obey by when you lay your pattern on the fabric when your fabric has stretched both ways you don't have to do that you can actually lay it out um, however you want that saves you a lot of fabric so you don't have to like worry about but, you know if you have to place pattern horizontally or vertically you just like literally do whatever and um, that way you actually get to save a lot more fabric so I'm gonna see how this is gonna work out for me so here is what I have going on so far kind of um, laid everything out exactly how I want it to be I have one yard and a half of this fabric I have just just enough so I can't make any mistakes it has to be all um, cut perfectly and as you can see here's my example where I didn't really follow the grain line as far as like the against uh, 
uh, like the perpendicular to grain line. So here's one of the pieces that's against this grain line and here's the next uh, my little piece of the bodice that's gonna be against kind of like this edge. I do want to point, point out uh, regardless you don't want this grain line to be like this, right? You still has, have to uh, make it parallel to whatever edge uh, you are doing it to and again only only if your fabric has the exact same stretch because sometimes uh, this side stretch will be there but it's gonna be a lot less than um, against uh, when in my situation um, they actually did it exactly the same and I took the fabric together and stretched it together and it's exact same stretch so I am confident that I can do that. Uh, so this is all little pieces of the bodice. Uh, this is where kind of like the uh, booby ruched area and here's my sleeve, uh, two of my skirts. The only piece that I need to cut is this kind of like the middle um, a little strip panel where the buttons go, two pieces. And uh, this one's supposed to have um, interfacing on it. So I'm gonna actually attach interfacing first and then cut it out. So it's um, in case uh, sometimes when you attach um, interfacing to the fabric it tends to kind of like shrink just a little bit so it is better for pieces like this uh, to cut afterwards so they kind of just like perfectly straight and uh, nothing shrinks and uh, the only thing I have left is kind of like go around and um, make all of my notches to make sure I don't forget to do that I'll do it in the very end once I have all of the pieces kind of like cut out so uh, here we are guys uh, all the pieces are interfaced and are ready to go um, kind of just prepped everything I needed to prep we are ready to assemble with the first step for that I have to uh, go ahead and actually stitch uh, the um, darts for the skirt part and after I do them um, I'm gonna set my sewing machine at um, kind of like a number five stitch size and put it all together and we are ready to try it on. Uh, my skirt darts are ready to go. So what I'm working on right now is actually creating um, this ruched uh, detail on my bodice. So I already stitched the little pieces together that's gonna be kind of like a part of the, I guess like a corset, <laughs> corset area. So now what I did here is created this um, kind of like a two, two lines, two stitched lines, and now what we want to do is pull these little um, threads to get them gathered nice and even. what I have so far you guys have been uh, kind of getting ahead uh, without recording every step um, and it's actually already dark outside but uh, here are my little sleeves I did put uh, both kind of like um, all three panels together 
uh, all I have to do left, literally like just before I can try it, is attach this elastic right here. So later on we will be attaching it a lot differently, but for now just to try the dress on, I just like literally stitched it together super quick. Hey, so we are in day number two and I have finished uh, assembling the pieces together last night and here we are to try them for the first time. <laughs> so what do I think you guys? Um, I absolutely love it. Uh, initially I had kind of like a, a very like strong reaction feeling like I'm some kind of Disney princess or <laughs> maybe like a character from a uh, from Bridget, uh, Bridgerton show or some kind of character from a Victorian novel. Um, I love it, all things, all good things in my books, but I definitely feel um, overly, overly feminine, but um, that's kind of um, the idea, right? So what do I think about the fit? The fit is uh, pretty good, the size is good, however, I will say um, if this fabric wasn't stretchy at all, this particular area right here does feel like this stretch helps, and if you see, um, it does kind of like pull a little bit so i'm i'm really hoping when i put the buttons in they're gonna have um they're gonna be throughout here more kind of like consistently and um i won't have this kind of like um pull kind of like a pull situation i'm not sure what to do about it i i mean i could get these seams um kind of like make the seam allowance right now it's i believe it's like one centimeter so i could potentially get the seam allowance you know, just use more for the um, for the pattern and to to kind of like increase the size. But I don't know if I want to do that because then um, it might be a little bit too loose. I kind of like how it's 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 kind of perfect right now. So I think I'm gonna leave it the way it is. I think it's gonna be fine. And the buttons uh, because the pins they are kind of like not evenly spaced out but the buttons will be evenly spaced out spaced out so they will be okay the ruching i absolutely adore this ruching i was a bit nervous about how it's gonna look on me because um from the hashtag of this pattern um i was able to preview how other ladies kind of like have it completed and this area looked um uh particularly kind of like uh, bigger and I was worried that <laughs> I don't have enough boobs to kind of like fill it in and it's gonna look a bit crazy it's not uh, like super full but it, this is gonna be this ruching is not um, end result because it's actually not it's actually not um, finished yet so when the elastic goes in the correct way because right now it's just kind of like attached like willy-nilly like just to see but once it goes in correctly it's gonna create more like a finer um gathering more even gathering and it's gonna look a bit nicer and it will have a double layer of fabric as well uh just to prevent um any kind of like nipply situation there for the future uh what uh, what about this pattern that i do not like um so I don't know if this is gonna be a bit tighter once I, like again, like I said, I once I attach elastic the correct way, but I love how the dress looks if you kind of like pull it down off the shoulders a little bit, but it does not stay at all. It's like, it's really loose, like I can, like I can barely move and it feels like it's gonna like fall like right out off of me. So I have to keep it on my shoulders, like just like this in order to prevent, you know, um, have a little uh, situation, uh, a little bit more for the show uh, than I want to, but this this is fine, this is gonna be nice as well. Uh, what else, what else? Oh, the, the waistline is perfect, uh, the darts are perfect, no changes there necessary, looks really nice in the back. Uh, the length I have extended to like the longest and I'm debating if I should kind of like shorten it just a little bit, maybe like um, like an inch or so. Right now it's like right at the kind of like goes pretty low, but then I want to maybe like show a little bit of an ankle, but I'm not sure. I'm not very tall, so um, longer 
kind of like skirt makes me look a little bit taller as well. Obviously, I'm wearing the shoes that I would be wearing this dress with. It's this kind of like a not very tall but platform sandal that I have. Absolutely love these sandals. They go with everything and especially with these kind of dresses. So yeah, um, final thoughts. Really excited, super pumped to put this dress together and finally have it finished. Um, I'm very happy that I don't have to do, by the looks of it, any changes uh, to the pattern. Pretty happy with everything. Really feminine, but I kind of like it. I don't have... I have dresses that are feminine, but this is probably <laughs> like the most princessy dress I ever owned. Um, but I think it's really pretty. So yeah, I'm really excited to get going and finish it up today. So it took me a good kind of like uh, 40 minutes to take all the pieces apart, but it's all done. I have all of them here. So I have left is just to press them with steam so I can get all the needle holes out. And so they look completely fresh, uh, kind of like from scratch, like brand new pieces, like never been sewn before. And I already I and this fabric and again it's I just in love with, with this fabric so much because it's um, um, it just has all the perfect qualities the holes come out like uh, they were never there before so it's perfect so first things first uh, my pieces are all pressed and cooled and ready to go so the first uh, the next step for me would be to uh, like I said to apply rolling hem to the outside of the bodice uh, the top of the bodice as well as the little sleeves top and the bottom and I swatched my um, serger uh, just now it looks pretty good I want to get that part done first <laughs> My scary rolling hem is done. I'm pretty happy with it. I can't say that it's 100%. Um, again, I think the key to this kind of a stitch is to try to keep your speed consistent. It doesn't need to be super fast or super slow, just kind of like right in the middle and just kind of like feeding it. I'm actually gonna Google to see if you're supposed to iron um, rolled a stitch. Right now, it's kind of like nice and curly on its own before obviously even uh, um, attach any elastic to it to create more ruching uh, but this uh, seam itself creates this kind of like a wave and i'm not sure if i iron it it's gonna take it away and it's just gonna you know turn it in back into like a flat uh, piece of fabric but maybe it's a good thing maybe it should be that way anyway it's kind of pretty now and i feel like it's gonna add extra body to the ruches so i'm gonna google it to see what's the correct way and uh, do that so I'm stitching my uh, bodice pieces and if you remember uh, me talking about the fit, I was saying that I was not happy how um, the middle part was uh, pulling apart just a little bit too much, even though it felt perfect around my body. So what I decided to uh, stitch them together with uh, like making the actual seam allowance smaller. They're two little um, uh, pieces all nice and stitched so here I have two um, places for the elastic so just to kind of show it a little up close this is what we end up with so this is where elastic will go
the side seams are done what I need to do next is attach this uh, two long strips into the middle of the dress before I attach it to the dress I already like marked the line and folded this little piece on the edge then later we'll have um, this kind of like nice and perfect and even add so a very quick tip alert i'm not sure if i have uh, viewers that are more advanced sewists or if i do have some beginners here as well so this might be an obvious tip to some um, but as i remember myself in the beginning it wasn't things like this were not obvious to me so as you can see uh, my dress is laid out all nice and flat on the table i have the panel um, laid out nice and flat underneath it and i'm ready to start pinning it which I actually already started in the beginning here so if you are a beginner um, try to do these kind of um, uh, long parts when they lay completely flat on the table or any other flat surface you use for things like that do not pin or baste right kind of like hold don't hold it up in the air like two pieces up in the air it might feel like it's an easier way to do it it's just like closer to your eyes and you kind of like uh, it feels like it might be a little bit easier try to lay it flat both pieces that you um, you know merging together and keep them flat as much as possible and if you are really a beginner beginner keep everything flat and um, pin everything down very carefully and baste it by hand to kind of like double triple check but lay your fabric make sure it's all kind of like nice and loose and it's not like tight or stretched out in any areas relax it it has to be like entirely relaxed and then get going on your pinning or basting as it sits uh, flat like that so I have finished uh, one panel obviously it doesn't have any buttons or buttonholes yet this is actually the side uh, that's supposed to have uh, buttonholes later on but um, yeah I finished it and I just wanted to do it off camera very slow like and take my time and it kind of it kind of turned out to be perfect like I'm really happy with everything and I think the reason is taking the time really does uh, pay off if I have to advise to kind of like take a very slow time with any pieces of the dress um, that's definitely this um, panel piece now we are prepping the little bias tape that will go on the sleeve at the top and the bottom of the sleeve and um, this is where we're going to insert our elastic so i'm uh, just doing a little bit of ironing here pressing here's what i'm supposed to end up with before i can attach it so just wanted to show kind of like before and then after sleeves the top um, piece is done here is what I have so this is going to be the outside and this is how it looks on the inside it looks pretty nice really happy with it and uh, I'm gonna go get the uh, next one done and then we need to do exact same process so it looks just like this for the bottom as well are my little sleeves oh getting so close yeah they turn out pretty nice this is where elastic will go and they will become nice and ruched <laughs> so guys we are in a day number uh, three i have finished the um, attaching of the sleeves last night as well as the hem uh, but it was getting pretty dark and uh, the next step for me would be to finish the buttonholes and the dress is done I did have a little bit of time in the evening, but I don't know about you, we all have like a sewing step that we dread the most and for some reason, uh, completely irrational, but I really can't explain it, I really don't like doing buttonholes, for some reason they always give me some trouble and even when they don't, I just, just, I don't know, I just can't stand doing buttonholes and I decided not to do that late in the evening uh, because that's just like asking for trouble. That's why I absolutely dread buttonholes. Very last one on a dress at the top where you can see it and my bobbin uh, ran out of um, thread. So 
have to redo the top one. I hope it's gonna be okay. Crisis averted, you guys. Here is my top uh, buttonhole, looks just fine. Uh, very lucky with this fabric, very forgiving. Any snags come right out with a little bit of steam. Um, so I undid it, it looked kinda ugly, but applied a little bit of steam with iron and it was like perfect, like nothing was there before. So I'm really happy with that. Here are all of my buttonholes, they look really nice.